an elf who is who has been kidnapped and has a little bit of trauma about this child prodigy. A boy who is a child prodigy and one of the best criminal masterminds that the earth has ever seen. And these two meet yet again but as allies. And here is the book that they meet. Hello fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I have this awesome, epic fantasy book for you guys today. Artemis Fowl and the Arctic Incident by Eoin Calver. As usual, book two of the awesome Artemis Fowl series, may I add? And well, let's get right on to it. This book is about a child prodigy named Artemis Fowl. Of course, he's not the only main character, but he's basically the narrator. The book starts with goblins, and they seem to have been starting some sort of uprising because they've been smuggling batteries from the human world into the fairy world, and they're using those batteries to power old soft-nosed laser guns, which are, well, pretty much deadly weapons, and that's not looking good for the LEP, you know, the po police, basically, the fairy police. And Holly Short thinks the person who had given those batteries to the goblins is Artemis Fowl. And if I was Holly, I would 100% think it was him. Because let's be honest here, Artemis Fowl is 100% capable of that kind of thing. But this time, Artemis Fowl is innocent. He had nothing to do with that, and he had just found out the. And yeah, he had just found out that fairies were real last. pretty much last year, I'm pretty sure. And Holly Short was back in Artemis Fowl's face, and it looked like that Artemis Fowl was gonna need Holly's help too. So here we are. Another situation, but this time, Artemis is gonna help Holly with the goblin situation and Holly is gonna help Artemis to rescue his father. Well, but there's more than this than you that meets the eye. Because goblins are pretty much stupid creatures, no no offense to goblins, they are just born stupid, I'm sorry. And there's no way that they made this ingenious plot, this ingenious this plan and Someone with more IQ than goblins, who are basically just barely able to think, has to have planned this. And we, Artemis Fowl, might have just met, met his match in a deadly, dastardly plot. And meanwhile, Artemis, is foul, Artemis Fowl's father is in mortal danger, trapped and imprisoned by the Mafia in Russia. Can, can Artemis outsmart the evil pixie, I'm not gonna say who, and can he also rescue his father? Well, I'm sure it's possible with Holly Short and and Commander Root and the good old dwarf Mulich and the rest of the gang at his side. And of course not forgetting Butler, let's be honest here. And it is an awesome fantasy book, I recommend it to you with the Almost <laughs> of my heart. That's probably not actually the scram. Don't repeat that anywhere, please. And yeah. And like always, your bookwester. Aaron the Bookwester. Come on, let's be honest here. I haven't read a good fantasy series in quite some time. And I'm glad that Artemis Foam is more than three books long because I've read The Lord of the Rings and then before that. Trilogies, trilogies, trilogies. So I'm glad it's a series. Awesome book. 